I'm Daniel Prim, and this is Daniel Prim y su pam pam pam. Param pam pam in Venezuela is like a slang for for party. And what happened in those param pam pam? We always play, but in a very organic way. Play music, singing, eating, having fun for sometimes for days. I really want to bring that energy to my project. And this album is called Home. The idea of this record is putting Venezuelan traditional music into a contemporary form. On this record is Juan Matrujillo on guitar, Adam O'Farrell on trumpet, and I have a special guest, Manuel Marquez on percussion. So I think it's exciting that we're kind of adapt adapting uh, improvisational language uh, from jazz music and, and improvised music and avant-garde music into these forms of folklore. This kind of is a chance for me to adapt my the way that I play uh, that's not folkloric at all, but kind of getting in touch with my roots. Uh, and it's, it's been an amazing experience. You know, I'm taking a lot of tools that I developed playing, you know, more sort of avant-garde music, you know, certain techniques on the trumpet that are kind of go beyond the surface level of the instrument and trying to bring that to bring bring these like less melodic traits to something that's more melodic. This music is grounded on music of the coast of Venezuela. That's where like all the traditional African immigration, they brought their heritage and it shifted into something different. You know? The thing that's interesting is like every single song is kind of represents one part of that lineage. In general, the original instrumentation in this music would be like tambor, cuatro, charrasca, people singing. The instrumentation in this is like guitar, trumpet, and drums. Those rhythms, usually you play with your hands. This instrument I play with my left foot is like trying to emulate golpe de los palos, or the paliteros made back in the typical of Venezuelan tambor try to make a wood sound. I try to play that in my left foot to combine um, those two words, uh, the drum set with the Afro-Venezuelan vocabulary. So there was a certain fluidity to the voice, you know, the, 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 the vocals that usually, you know, have this, usually somebody singing these tunes and so it was a challenge, like, kind of trying to find a way to play these melodies in a way that makes sense on my instrument while also kind of not losing the, uh, the quality and the flow of, that, that comes from the human voice, I think. The call and response is a tradition of how any folkloric music it gets passed on and learned. So that's that's uh, at the core of all of this. The, the common thread with all of these songs is that there, a lot of them are like, it's very short ideas. The, and there's so much to coax out of them. You know? it's, it's really deep music. Manuel and I, we grew up together in the music program back in Venezuela. And, well, it's an amazing percussion. I don't know, I had like, this idea to put like a traditional Afro-Venezuelan track in a very untraditional way, playing tambor against the other, because, I don't know, why not? Fue un momento muy bonito porque 
creamos en el estudio. Esa magia se creó en el estudio. Llegamos con nuestros tambores en nuestras tierras, en nuestras costas venezolanas. Daniel me dice, no tengo nada preparado, vamos a crear. Y yo, siguiendo la imaginación de Daniel, le fui planteando ideas para esta gran suite. La llamo suite porque pasamos por varios golpes, varios estados de nuestra amada Venezuela. El rhythmic aspect is so compelling. It, it has the potential of reaching audiences that would normally be turned off by abstraction. This way we, we have like something that's really grounded. It kind of brings people in and they can accept more abstract stuff because there's so, so, such a buoyant kind of ground and structural thing happening. I hope you like this record and I also hope you can feel the energy of the Parampapang in the party we did recording this record. Enjoy.